Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a problem on section of cone. Initially, I will be explaining the question. Then I will be explaining how to write the given data. And later on, I will be explaining how to draw the diagram step by step. Just follow all the instructions so that it will be very easy for you to follow up and complete the problem. A goal of base diameter. So what kind of solid we are going to draw? We are going to draw cone. Cone means base diagram will be a circle. And diameter of the cone is 50 mm. So radius of the circle will be 25 mm. Axis length 60 mm. So axis length means height of the cone is 60 mm. Rest on its base on HP. So they clearly given. So resting will be on HP. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to HP and inclined at 60 degree to VP. So cutting plane will be 60 degree to VP. So we will be having the cutting plane here. So base diagram will be drawing in HP. So base diagram will be a circle. We will be drawing the circle here. And cutting plane is inclined, inclined to with respect to VP means. So here we will be having the cutting plane. And uh, is 10 mm away from the axis. 10 mm away means we can use our radius and uh, take 10 mm and uh, draw a circle. Draw the top view, sectional front view and true shape of the section. So this is what this is the question and these are the given data we wrote from the question. And now I will explain how to draw the diagram step by step. The first step is you need to draw a reference line. So this is the reference line. You have to draw a reference line x, y and write as x, y, v, p, h, p. Then you need to take your compass. Okay, take your compass, uh, measure diameter is 50 mm means you have to measure radius as 25 mm take your compass measure 30, 25 mm in scale and then keep the center of the compass here and draw the circle so i have drawn i have not drawn the exact circle it, it was somewhat okay but even i am also not satisfied with it kindly adjust it and just try to understand the concept and procedure alone so when you draw you will be getting a neat circle because you will be using the compass and uh, measurement and all right so kindly adjust and uh, <laughs> let us go further so keep the center of the compass here and draw the circle and divide the circle into eight equal parts and name it as a b c d e f g h so since it's a cone means we will be having only eight uh, namings and uh, center of the cone is an apex right center of the uh, axis we will be meeting with an apex that is the point o so we will be having only eight namings and uh, dimensioning this is the uh, extension line 2 h pencil x these two are the extension line and these two are the dimensioning it should be in h pencil and we have, we have to write the uh, 550 and uh, arrowhead should be written with your uh, hp pencil dot so as of now we have drawn the top view of the cone now we will extend all the points so that we can get the front view of the cone so what we are going to do is we are just going to extend all the top view points see you have to keep your scale here you have to keep your scale here with respect to a vertically so that you can get this point you have to keep your scale on h vertically you will be getting this point you have to keep your scale vertically on g so that you will be getting this point you have to keep your scale vertically on f so that you will be getting this point you have to keep your scale vertically on e so that you will be getting this point right now i haven't uh, mentioned any naming at all you have just got one two three four five points now this is the center right so this is the center so from here for 60 mm we have to draw the reason is axis length is 60 mm so from here for 60 mm keep your point and that point is called as o dash okay from this point just join all the points o dash to a dash o dash to you just join all the points okay so name these namings i will tell now when we see from here you can that is when we see from here you can see a so a dash you can see b but you can't see h so b dash bracket h dash you can see d you can see c but you can't see g so c dash bracket g dash you can see d but you can't see f so d dash bracket f dash you can see e so e dash so this is the way we need to name all these so this is the front view so we put all the dashes for the alphabet and uh, dimensioning extension line should be with your 2h pencil and dimensioning line should be with your h pencil arrowhead and 60 should be written with your hp pencil so for the same thing for throw all the five units so that it will be very easy the next step is i will be explaining how to draw the cutting plane see here so regarding the cutting plane what they have said is the cutting plane it cuts the plane perpendicular to hp and inclined 60 degree to vp inclined 60 degree to vp means it has to be inclined like this see it has to be inclined with respect to vp 
So how to draw, draw this cutting line? I have just given here. See, this is the reference axis, right? So from here, for 60 degree, you draw a line. So this angle, so this angle is 60 degree. Okay, draw a line in plane anywhere on the reference axis. Then what you need to do is, you have to keep a scale like this. You have to keep a scale like this. And you have to move parallelly in such a way that it has to touch the end of the circle. Okay. So before that, I just forgot to tell one thing. How we have put this circle? See, um, incline 60 degree to VP and it's 10 mm away from the axis. So what you need to do before drawing this line also, one more step is that take your compass, measure 10 mm. Take your compass, measure 10 mm, keep it this as the center, draw a circle, small circle. So radius of the circle is 10 mm. You have to take 10 mm, you have to keep this uh, comp you have to keep your center of the compass here and draw the circle for 10 mm. Then what you need to do is just draw a line. So this is the reference line. I mean anywhere you can draw an incline line for 60 degree. Keeping this line as reference, try to keep on moving this tail parallel in such a way that it has to meet the any one point of the circle. So it is it will be meeting the the, the o, between O D. Okay. You just keep your scale uh, there itself and draw a line, incline line. This cutting plane and this incline line should be parallel. So we have drawn the cutting plane with respect to this, so that when you extend and uh, here we need a dimension. Okay. So cutting plane is inclined at an angle of 60 degree it is very difficult for us to identify the angle here so my just my suggestion is uh, draw a line anywhere inclined for 60 degree with respect to reference line keep this line as reference and draw the cutting plane so that it will be very easy keep your scale like this and keep on moving keep on moving at one particular point you will be meeting the circle just Keep that as your reference and draw a line. So you have to leave one mm gap on one mm gap. So this is the way we need to draw the cutting plane, right? Later on, what you need to do? You just extend it up, draw a horizontal line, draw a extension line. This is the extension line. Whatever I drawn to this color is the extension line, and you have to mark 60 degree. So this angle is 60 degree. So this line should be parallel to the reference line. So see, this line should be parallel to blue color line, reference line. And later on, what you need to do? Just identify the cutting points. So between B and C, uh, we will be getting one. Between O and C, two. Between O and D, three. Between O and E, four. Between F and E, five. So like this, we have got the cutting points. And later on, you just rub the remaining part. Next step is try to project all the cutting points vertically in such a way that you will be getting the sectional front view if one is between b and c means between b and c you will be getting one when you extend it up so that i will explain now by drawing the diagram now we are going to draw the sectional front view see this is the first point right the first point is between b and c just extend the point one in such a way that between b and c b dash and c dash it, does, it should meet so this is called point one 2 I will tell later on, 3 is between O and D, just extend 3 vertically in such a way that it has to be O dash and D dash, so here we got 3, 4 is between O and E means extend 4 vertically in such a way, that, extend 4 vertically in such a way that it has to be O dash and E dash at one point, that point is called as 4, and 5 is between E and F, extend 5 vertically in such a way that it has to meet uh, F and E at this point. 2 what is the problem is 2 is lying in the on the axis itself so it is very difficult to find for this what i'm going to do is just take your compass take your compass keep your measure from o to 2 okay take your compass measure from o to 2 you will be having some radius right try to draw a circle try to draw a circle it has to touch o a at one point so like this point okay measure o to 2 Try to cut an arc so that it will be meeting OA at one point. You keep, you just leave that there itself. Now take your scale. Now take your scale. Try to draw a vertical line. So this orange color line. Try to draw a vertical line. These and all should be drawn with your 2 edge pencil. Very, very light. Try to draw a vertical line. It has to meet O dash and A dash at one point. This point. It has to meet at this point. It has to meet O dash and A dash at one point. From here, okay, when you draw a vertical line, it will be meeting this point, right? Now, try to draw a horizontal line, okay? So, now try to draw a horizontal line. It has to be O dash and C dash at one point. That point is called as 2. Once again, I repeat, measure O to 2. Try to cut an arc. 
so it will be meeting here from here draw a vertical line it will be meeting o dash and a dash from here you have to draw a horizontal line it will be meeting o dash and c dash that point is called as 2 now just join 1 2 3 4 5 so this is called a sectional uh, front view just try to hatch it up so hatching i already told very very well draw a horizontal line take 45 degree angle and keeping this line as reference try to draw the hatching line so you can refer the previous video regarding the hatching hatching angle is 45 degree it has to be done with equal spacing so equal spacing should be there so that it should be very looking very good so as of now we have completed till sectional top view now i'll tell how to draw the true shape of the section so this is very easy so you know very well for true shape of the section what we need to do is we have to draw a new reference line so this is the new reference line so this new reference line should be drawn parallel to the cutting plane so this is the cutting plane right so try to move your scale parallelly in such a way that you have to move somewhat away from both front view and top view as well as the reference line draw a line okay so cutting plane it has the new reference line should be this is the new reference line x1 y1 so it should be parallel to the cutting plane keep your scale at the cutting plane try to move parallelly and try to draw this line so there is no other method it's like uh, might be you will be getting small error but see to it maximum try to draw parallelly so when you look it should look parallel if not means kindly rub and draw again okay so this distance is does not matter but should be away from the front view top view as well as reference reference line then next what step is you have to take your compass see one is lying uh, you have forgotten one thing so you have to extend i mean draw a perpendicular line straight so these are the cutting points one two three four five so totally five cutting points you have to draw five perpendicular lines so from here for 90 degree draw a perpendicular line to some extent from to draw a purple but it should be away from the top view if you draw on the top view itself means your diagram will be looking back okay so try to keep your scale or uh, try to keep your l shape scale so that you have to try to extend it away from the diagram so that your diagram looks good so from 3 also you have to draw a perpendicular line this line from 4 also you have to draw a perpendicular line and 5 also you have to draw a perpendicular line i have drawn somewhat approximately only but you won't be getting this type of true section so when you draw with exact dimension you will be getting somewhat uh, different answers so don't get padding whatever answer you are getting that is only correct so i haven't drawn with true and exact dimension okay so after extending it what do you need to do 1 and 5 are lying on the reference line itself so you can mark it as 1 1 so this is the first point at 1 1 and fifth point 5 1 then 2 see here you have to keep your compass at uh, reference line measure from here to 2 so how much ever distance you are having from here to 2 same distance you will be having from here to 2 ok once again I tell take your compass keep your compass at a reference line and measure till 2 keep your compass here cut and up Keep your compass at reference line measure till 3 from third line just keep your compass and cut an arc. From your uh, reference line just keep your compass here and measure till 4 from, from the new reference line from the 4th point you just cut an arc. You will be getting 4 1. 5 1 and 1 1 are lying on the reference line itself so there is no need for it. Just to correct 1 1, 2 1, 3 1, 4 1, 5 1. So whatever we got here is the true shape of the section. You have to do hatching here. Hatching should be done with 45 degree and with equal spacing. So this is the way you need to draw. And then later on you can drop the unwanted line. This is the heading. So title should be uh, written with your capital letter and height of the text is 10 mm. The heading is Cone means section of cone. So it should be read, uh, written capital letter height of text is 10 mm. And below, after completing everything, you have to write two lines that is, all dimensions are in mm, scale 1 is to 1. Here, height of the text is 5 mm. And you should use a pro circle and draw a circle and write the question number. Okay. And uh, you, you must use your HP pencil for drawing the border 20 mm from left, 10 from top, 10 from right, 10 from bottom. So that once you put border and draw means your diagram will be looking good. I hope so everything will be clear. In case if you have any doubt in drawing the diagram means you can type in the comment section so that I can clarify all your doubts in the comment section. If you want us to make a video on a particular topic also just type the topic or problem on the comment section so that we will be uploading videos on the topic or problem which you give. So do subscribe our channel Mechanical Motivator and stay tuned to the channel. We also have other playlists too. Kindly go through all the playlists. Definitely it will be 
useful for you at any point of your life so many playlists and many varieties of videos we will be keep on uploading and kindly support us by just sharing all the videos or whichever you like to your first year friends so uh, we will be uploading uh, engineering graphic engineering graphics video for all the five units it will be definitely useful for you during your exam preparation or whenever you get a doubt mean on a particular problem or problem or a particular topic means you can just go through the video so that it will be very much clarified so thanks for watching this video have a great day